Rovo is now available to all premium and enterprise Atlassian customers and will be coming to standard customers soon. Rovo consists of three main features, search, chat, and agents. These power your team to save time each week, produce higher quality work, and innovate more. Rovo is core to unlocking the full power of the Atlassian platform, and that's why it sits at the heart of our system of work. Rovo searches across your Atlassian products, as well as connected third-party data sources. I'll now walk you through a quick demo of these in action. Let's start with search. Going into the search side of Confluence, you can search for anything. When we search for VitaFlow, for example, we are getting results from multiple sources, including Confluence, Jira, Atlassian Home, and many more. You can quickly filter your results to specific apps, such as Jira, or Atlassian Home Projects, or of course, view them all together in one result. You can also ask a specific question in the search bar, such as what be to flow, and this will result in a knowledge card. This knowledge card gives you a quick answer, as well as references the sources it pulled it from. You can easily and quickly ask follow-up questions directly in this knowledge card, such as what are the key benefits of VitaFlow, which will pull you directly into our other feature, RoboChat. From here, you can dive deeper, asking follow-up questions, searching across all of your sources, both first party and third party, to quickly get the answers you need. For example, I'm going to ask, when did VitaFlow launch? Rovo can not only answer questions, but it can also perform actions. I'm going to ask RovoChat to comment directly on that page, congratulating the team. Rovo always keeps a human in the loop and confirms that this is the comment you want to make. And just like that, you can see that I've added a comment to that page. Now let's hop over into Jira to see how Rovo agents can help you with some powerful workflows. I'm going to call on the Jira Theme Analyzer agent. This is one of my favorite agents that allows you to group common themes across Jira tickets. I'm going to ask it, what are the most common themes across the last 40 tickets in this project? You'll see it's good tickets into theme names, theme summaries, and included the issue URLs. Let's actually pop this open into full screen mode. This is going to give us a little bit more real estate to work with our response. Let me ask this agent if they have any recommendations for help articles that can help deflect these questions. The agent has responded that I could write articles on billing issues, Wi-Fi connectivity, feature requests, and many more. I'm going to have it write a how-to article on Wi-Fi connectivity problems. The agent has drafted me a page, and I've decided I actually want to make a quick edit to it. This is one example of how we're keeping humans in the loop. Now I can accept those changes, publish the page, and I immediately get a link to the result. Now let's take this all a step further. Let's say we want to use automations to automate workflows in our processes. Let's go ahead and create a rule that triggers when a work item is created, and then we'll call on a Rovo agent, and we're gonna grab the out of the box service request helper agent, and we're gonna prompt that agent to help us reply to the customer by giving us helpful tips for our first response. And then we want this agent's response to show up as an internal note on the ticket. So I'll add the comment on work item action with that agent response as a smart value. I wanted to add the comment as the service request helper, and I also want to ensure that the comment visibility is set to internal. I'm gonna turn this rule on and let's see it in action. Let's say a customer comes in and they are having issues with their Wi-Fi. They write a novel of a ticket and it gets sent into your support queue. The agent has commented with a TLDR of the problem, similar tickets and issues created, as well as other open tickets by its user. These are just a few examples of how you can use out of the box agents that Atlassian creates for you, but there are no limitations to what you can create. You can create your own custom agent either with no code via our Studio UI, or you can use our Forge platform. Lastly, you are probably wondering how you can ensure that Rovo is enabled for your organization. In the admin profile, navigate to Settings, then Rovo, and you can go ahead and add connectors from here. You can scroll through our list of third-party connectors and select the ones you would like to enable. Keep in mind that once you enable these connectors, your end users will need to auth those connections in Rovo Search. 
Lastly, you need to check that it lasting intelligence is enabled in all of your products. Rovo respects product level AI toggles. Thanks for joining me through this walkthrough and happy Rovoing.